So welcome folks, so welcome to my comparison between the 7 hertz timeless, which are the disc shaped ones, and the uh, the Letshua, or the Shua, however you know them, the S12. So I'm going to just call it throughout the video, the S12 and the timeless, just makes things more simple. I thought I'd do a comparison about these because uh, on, in some ways they're very close, in some ways they're not. Uh, and obviously some people have already got one or the other. So let's just get straight into it. Let's talk about um, comfort. So comfort is quite important. To me, comfort is number one. Because if it's not comfortable at all, you're not going to listen to them. Doesn't matter how good it sounds or bad, or bad it sounds. If it's not comfortable, you're not going to use these. So let's just pick these two. So these are the both the left units, as you can see. I'll talk about the connectors in a bit. So something like that. Obviously crazy styling as you can see how it protrudes it's styling but anyway for comfort so let's go this side and if you can see here uh, that's got a lot more of a angle see it's a lot steeper so it comes out you can see there this looks this is more of a normal shape so it curves there that's quite more flat and then cuts up so you have to see if that affects your kind of comfort really. Obviously the the back here looks a bit funky, but that's not really the fit. So it's probably a little bit closer. You have to see if that kind of concave is better or the more right angle of the left one, of the timeless. So that's it. I, I can get away with both really. You can see it from there. Kind of looks like it sticks up more. So it's, it seems... The nozzle seems a little bit longer. I was fine with either, really. Um, the, the both wasn't perfect, but it just depends. Um, obviously, everybody's ear anatomy is different, but that's just what they look like side by side, as in kind of a, are they going to fit you kind of example, really. So that's what they are. So now the other thing is price. The timeless are around $70 more than the S12, which is quite a lot, like a big difference. If it's like 15 to 20, then that's fine, but for it to be $70, that's quite a bit, considering they are technically very similar. And they also both use, that's a 14.2 millimeter driver, and the S12 is a 14.8. So only six, 0.6 millimeter difference, which is like next to nothing. Also, they're meant to be different drivers, but one if the same manufacturer makes them both. Who knows? Obviously, some people beyond the scenes know what I mean. And yeah, so there's that. And then the actual connector type, obviously MMCX. It's a good MMCX cable and the connector seems fine. Obviously, this is tubing. Most folks prefer tubing, like I do. So that's one thing to bear in mind. So three things this is, this is already better the s12 is price possibly fit and that it uses two pin so that's quite important so let's go on to yeah so just general aesthetics um obviously the timeless is the most funky looking shall we say and i like that it's good to be different obviously the s12 looks like any other iem again it could look like a single dd or hybrid or anything like that I like that it's quite subtle, but then again, I do like that. It's quite, that looks a bit more funky. That would have been good for, I think, maybe different colours, maybe. I'm not quite sure, but I do like how that looks. Uh, yeah, anyway, as well, one thing to know is Mr. MRS, as in Superstar Reviews, he graphed it when you block the vent, and it gives a, this even more low end. I haven't personally tried it, but he's done a... Uh, he graphed it with... it taped, and it does bring the low end up quite a lot. I wouldn't say base level, but it's damn near close. So, yeah, so that's, that's the sound. This is what it's all about. So, like, now I'm going to overlay a graph. Um, yes, let's talk about base, shall we? So, base, it didn't show this, but the S12, um, to my ear, has more mid-base and upper base. But then the sub-base rolls off more than the timeless. So the timeless has the better sub base, if that matters to you. Don't forget, not everything includes that. 
mid bass is more noticeable than sub bass because more things have mid bass than sub bass if you understand what I mean but the graph doesn't show it but out of the pair the S12 uh, is the bassier one not by much just a little bit but if you're back to back it you know you'll notice it and that's it really obviously bass performance is like extremely similar because they're both playing so they're both fast they both have really quick decay um, may it be good or bad depends on your genre some things may pre prefer slower thicker low end maybe some hip hop and rap would probably benefit from that electronic music like I typically listen to but I do listen to a lot of things benefits from fast bass because obviously the high BPM so yeah so mids um, very similar really I the only difference is that I found there was the upper mids where vocals are a little bit more forward um, to my ear on the actual S12 than the Timeless so female vocalists which exist in that kind of part were a little, a little bit it's not much just a little bit more um, forward on the S12 than the Timeless the Timeless on the whole is a slightly smoother listen experience but I'll get into more of that in a bit um, yes yeah, so, and the lower mid sounded a little bit more thick on the S12 um, but it's not much um, sorry the lower mids are a little bit more thick on the timeless my mistake again it, it's all very very similar mid-range performance again is very very similar where these differ the most is obviously in the bass and actually in the treble so the treble region the S12 um, is the most elevated so at the pair the S12 is the brighter one not by much um, but if you back to back them like I said you, you'll notice it on certain tracks certain instruments singers sibilance is more um, has more of a presence on the S12 so bear that in mind if you're treble sensitive if you are then the timeless might be the better one for you in that respect obviously depending on the comfort as well again it just depends so much on your genres but on your whole like if you like classical music or acoustics it's more forward I find on the S12 again it's not by much the you know there's not there's not a massive difference between them it's just a noticeable difference back to back if you only had one of these it doesn't matter because you obviously you can't hear the other um, the beside of both of sibilance it's just more viable on the S12 or so more apparent it's more visible it's more noticeable on the S12 so the timeless is a little bit softer in the treble which is I prefer I don't really like aggressive treble it can be fatiguing or annoying shall we say in some aspects um, they both have good treble extension they don't fall off a cliff like some items do these don't they keep going which is very good obviously it's a bunch of venting as you can see um, stage again on both could be better maybe it's just a plain R thing they have enough height but I wish there's a bit wider I wouldn't say they sound claustrophobic but I'd, you'd like it to sound you know a bit wider but it's not too bad at all technical performance um, obviously for both is very good being plain R isolation on these is obviously not very good um, micro details again is very good on both because of what they are and, and that's it really so I don't want to go on it's nearly nine minutes along uh, nine minutes already so I'm going too much but for sheer music as it's all about the music the S12 is a bit more bass um, and a bit more treble I like both depends on your genre I, I, I prefer the treble of the timeless and I, but I do like the low end a little bit more of the actual S12 again you can always EQ these because EQ with plain art is very flexible it's not like trying to EQ a BA which is less you have less kind of to play with but you have a bit more with plain art on the whole everything I've thrown at these I do like these these are very good I like you don't have to EQ the crap out of them like the the Odyssey and you have to use that actual um, the kind of dongle that came with it I forgot the name you, you know what I mean and that comes with the DSP built-in as in it come with an EQ built-in to make them sound good with these you don't have to do that you can just plug them in and enjoy your music or 
gaming or whatever you want to use these for. Um, yeah, I think they're pretty good. I like that I've got both. And obviously, as a disclaimer is, I bought both. They're both mine. So I can say, like, what I want. I do like these for music use. Um, I'm very happy with either for... I do like electronic music, pop music, um, acoustics, classical, and all and all of the stuff I've tried it with. They, they do sound very good. So if you've got one, do you need the other? So let's say you've already got the Timeless, as it's been out the, the longest. Do you really need the S12? Probably not. Bit of EQ would probably fix that. But if you... So I say I'm lucky I've got both so really if you need like I said if you've got one you probably don't need the other you get or if you really want the s12 you could always try to sell sell one to buy the other or vice versa you you pick I think the s12 will probably be the better seller overall because it's cheaper I think for most people will have the better fit and obviously two pin is more attractive They've all got the both come with decent cables and accessories, tips and all that. It's all very good. They're both premium. They didn't really cut any corners. So the verdict is like there's no real winner. They're, they're both not perfect. They're both uh I like both. They both have the flaws. But they both have obviously positives as well. So you pick pick your poison, shall we say? But the S12, sorry, the S12 is a little bit more of an aggressive listen. Um, everything's a bit more forward on the S12 is the best way to describe it. The timeless is a little bit smoother, a little bit. Um, as a little bit more sub-bass, well, or less roll-off in the sub-bass. But they're both good pairs. They're both winners, shall we say. Um, I've heard some things about the timeless quality control is not very good as in channel matching and I think some people have had the, the rear part of the shell come off I, I haven't seen that um, the S12 on the whole looks good but my S12 the channel matching is not as good as that them channel matching so that, that's just my pair but the fit and finish and actual quality control so the tolerances are very good um, obviously the build quality for me is perfect for both i've no issues and yeah i'm going to stop waffling so i recommend them both you just pick what suits you more or if you've got a particular budget obviously that's the cheapest or whatever is available for you obviously i've got the graph um you know uploaded so you can check squig link for that but yeah obviously on, on mine the D, these do have um, a little bit less mid bass than the S12. It just looks the same on the graph, so bear in mind. And yeah, I think I'll probably end it there. I don't waffle on too much, but um, I've got a few things in the pipeline. I just don't have them yet, like the KZ uh, HBB DQ6S is coming soon. And then the, I will be doing the Triple In HBB Amelina. So two Hawaii bad boy models coming up soon. Don't have them yet. No real ETA, but. Yeah, thanks for watching and take care.